Good evening, all you minties, and welcome back to another episode of Reels Talk with your host, the amazing Amanda, and my lovely co-host, the uncanny Omar. What's up, everybody? Today, we're doing something very special. We're not at the San Diego Comic-Con, as you can probably tell, but Bummer. that's okay. That place is freaking crazy anyway. It is. Uh, but we are here to talk about some of the things we want to see or what we expect to hear, whether the comic book panels or comic book movie panels. Uh, Virgin River season four starts right around the corner. Anybody else excited for that? Just me? Okay. If good. that shows up <laughs> at Comic Con this year, I'll be shocked. <laughs> if the captain Virgin River is there, I'm going to be so pissed off. What yeah. is up, Jeffrey Lakes we Comics, and everybody comics. else? Hopefully, everybody Hello, is having guys. a great, great evening or morning or afternoon, depending on where you're from. So, yeah, we're going to be talking about things that have been rumored we're going to see and then what we kind of expect to see or what we would love to hear and see at San Diego Comic Con. It is yes. the, I guess one could say the geek mecca every, well, it used to be every summer and then in 2020, it kind of did not happen. So yeah, um, and now it's back. Here we are. Yeah. And I went what? once and it was a nightmare. So I would never go in person again unless I had an awesome press pass because oh, dude, yeah. as a regular uh, person, it is, I, I don't like, it's just, I don't know if it's worth it as a regular person to go. I mean, I stand, oh we went in 2012 when Walking Dead Game of Thrones were just getting like they were out and were really just getting popular, right? And I just remember waiting all freaking day to try to get into Hall H, and it was just not worth it. We didn't even get into Hall H. We never even made it that far. But, I went um, the last time I went was 1997, and uh, that was crazy. That was crazy then, and it was more about the comics and less about the TV shows, but some of the TV shows started to trickle in. I think Buffy the Vampire Slayer. But yeah. the saddest story I had to share was when I had a podcast called About Heroes many years ago. Uh, my buddy Dan and I got press passes, but he went without me because, you know, that's what you do. Now, the cast, the Firefly, was there promoting Serenity. So this was in 2004, yep. before he had watched Firefly. So he didn't even appreciate it, and I didn't go. So I was really pissed off that I couldn't see the entire cast of freaking Serenity. Uh, Arjun, what's up, my dude? Uh, rumor. Is that even a rumor at this point? Is it a rumor? Man on Abyss Volume 4. We know that's coming. We just don't know when. So yes. there you go. There, that's not even breaking news. You're going to be so upset when I actually break those news, and you're like, I knew that was coming. Just finished my chicken salad. We're going to start that again, huh, Rodman's Prime Rib? Mm, that sounds what's delicious, popping? Though. Actually, it, looks, it might sound better when Amanda says it. She's a little younger than I am. What? Yo, what's popping? Nope, it doesn't sound good. No, what I yeah, say. Never mind. I did, I just that. Nope. <laughs> Make that idea. My bad. All right. So San Diego yeah. Comic Con 2022. Let's go ahead and get started, and then we'll uh, everybody can chime in with their thoughts and opinions on what they want to see, what they've yeah. heard. Uh, no spoilers here. Just rumors, by the way. Nothing yeah. has been. Nothing has been shown. They're really hush hush about these things. Yeah. Omnibus nothing... announce, dude. If I get to announce an omnibus, I'm going to New York Comic Con. I told David, I'm like, that would be cool. If we could time it, I can announce yeah. it at New York Comic Con. I'll bring my suit. I'll pack my suit. I don't want to, but I will. I'll buy a t-shirt. Do, do like Marvel cool. Comics, do, like, do comic um, properties, like the comics themselves, even get to be in Hall H? Or are they in a totally separate place? Because not I even, hate, like... I hate the in, fact that you're even asking that. No, they have pushed the comics elsewhere. Yeah, of Everything course. is about movies and TV shows. Yeah, because is... even the animation panel for Marvel Studios for the actual animated series and such are in a different mm -hmm. hall. They're not even in Hall H themselves either. So yeah. it is primarily like, your live action stuff. That's interesting. Um, so is the 52 omnibus worth it? I will answer this question really quick and then we can get started. I don't want to interrupt my co-host anymore. Uh, the, uh, yes, but if you can get it at a discount, of course it helps out. It is to me one of the best like stories and events that DC did. It's wonderful. You have the same shirt as me? Wait. Yeah, I am going Manny Sanchez. Take me yes, over to the beer. Uh, oh, cool. Man. We're, we're shirt brothers. You have it on right now? Take your shirt off. Go put this one on and watch the stream. Okay. Now, Amanda. Sorry sure that. Last time, I yeah, Last time. so <laughs> um, yeah, Max, we do still have to do a Ant Man and the Wasp is really bad. We took a break on Friday, um, but we do have to because both of us did rewatch it, so we will try to squeeze that in uh, mm -hmm. sometime. Maybe the end of the maybe we'll do a Sunday stream for that because I'll be at a work event for the rest of the week, which means Friday's out, um, because I'll be traveling. But maybe this weekend I can convince Omar to let us do that because I want to talk Ant Man and the Wasp. I'm sure everyone yeah. else does. Anyway. Yeah, me too. <laughs> New so, Iron Fist season. I've been to Hall H mm -hmm. thing before, and it was cool. But San Diego Comic Con is much more fun if you don't worry about that. Walk the floor, yeah. smaller panels. But even for the floor, you have to yeah. wait nowadays to go shopping, yeah. which is insane. 
I had to wait in line just to see the um, WIDA, you know, the, the WEDA, the people who do the, um, who oh, did all the uh, special Lord effects for Lord of the Rings. You had to wait in a line just to walk into their booth. I remember I tried actually walking into the booth to see a Gollum statue they had and someone stopped me and said, no, you have to get in the line to go through it. I was like, it's a booth. What are you talking about? So yeah, my experience was mixed on San Diego. I just, you know, I want to go to see this, this special announcements live, but it just, yeah, it's hard to do it. Anyways, but when is San Diego Comic-Con? So it is coming this Thursday, July 21st until Sunday, July 24th. And of course, we're going to talk about what the rumors that have been flying like crazy around the Marvel properties, um, Marvel Studios properties. And of course, we'll talk a little bit about the DC stuff. Not as much. Uh, coming out of the rumor mill for DC, but that's probably because they have some interesting characters behind the scenes that are keeping certain properties, um, I guess not floored, but on the shelf for right now. So we're going to have to, we're going to talk about what we expect to see at the comic convention, what we're going to see at the panels and also kind of get, talk about some of these rumors that are circling. I know some of them have been debunked, but you know, then again, Andrew Garfield said he wasn't in Spider-Man No Way Home. And um, yeah, look where we are. So we can say something's debunked until we actually see it for ourselves when Hall H comes out. So um, Marvel's panels, they have the Friday panel at 1145 Pacific Standard Time is their animation panel with, um, okay. yeah, so Ryan um, Mir Mirderding, how do you pronounce his last name? The head of visual yeah. development. Yeah. <laughs> minor right. ding. Well, the minor ding. Condition, the place where yeah, we minor ding. <laughs> minor ding. Minor ding. Yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah. He'll be there. Um, And, you know, what we can expect is they're going to be showing some, you know, little clips of probably X-Men 97. What if season two, I would assume. And probably, um, oh, uh, what else are they going to show for that one? Uh, would, zombies, yeah. Marvel Zombies. That's right. Marvel Zombies. They're probably going to show a clip of that or announce it. So you're saying that Marvel Zombies, X-Men 97, and uh, What If Season 2 are all going to be around the same time? Like released around the same time? or No, the they're trailer? just going to show them looks, exclusive looks for those. That's what I'm assuming is going to happen for that animation panel. Because... They don't have a lot of animation for the Marvel Studios projects that are coming out on Disney Plus. So I'm sure they've had some concept art or maybe some trailers, depending on how far along they are in production. Uh, and we'll probably see some of that for the animation pa panel happening on Friday at 11.45 Pacific Standard Time. And trust me, I'll have all these on my calendar so I can start checking ferociously on my news feed to see what starts popping out. So, but yeah, but that's, um, I mean, as far as animation, the only other thing, I mean, what is it? Spider-Man and his friends, I think. Is that the other one? The Amazing Spider-Man and his friends. That's that, that was now. just a rumor right now. Um, Spider-Man yeah. and his Amazing Friends. Yeah, that, that, that was, was yeah, that was one they had. I don't think that's, that wasn't a rumor. They have, they showed it previously as something that was going to come out, but we just don't have a release date for it yet. So maybe mm. we'll. Okay. release date for maybe not any like looks exclusive looks or anything like that but maybe something else um but let's talk about their saturday panel the one that's okay. at 5 p.m. really quick D david c said he's never heard about x-men 97 so x-men 97 is the project that they are doing that is see think season six or i guess season five and a half of x-men the animated series from the 90s Mm -hmm. And this is what they're dubbing. And of course, a lot of the voice actors, like the voice actor for uh, Apocalypse, the voice actor for Scott Summers, Cyclops, you know, they passed away. So mm -hmm. what they're trying to do is get the original voice cast to come back. Now, the, the problem is, or not the problem, rather, but the uh, the question is, what kind of animation style are they going to use? I had an issue, and not everybody did, but I had an issue with the what if animation style. I wasn't a big fan of it. Um, so we don't know if it's going to use that type of style. If they're going to go back to traditional looking style, I don't want to say traditional style because that day, the days of hand drawn animation I think are gone. But as we've seen in anime, it can be faked to look like a traditional, yeah, animated style. So that's that's what that is. Uh, yeah, man. Um, I mean, it's they really cool. it's it's been rumored and it's it's pretty cool. I mean, it's big, right? If um, I don't want to spoil anything, but I mean, you might see an Easter egg if you've seen. Doctor Strange and Mom, Multitude of Madness, and yep. uh, Miss Marvel. There's, I mean, little Easter eggs with X Men '97. It's pretty cool. Thrown out, yeah. And I, th I'm thinking they're gonna try to stick with 
making it look like the original animation and not try to do what if animation because they have to set i think they want to kind of separate the different animated series and make them all look a little bit differently so mm -hmm. i don't think they'll do i know you didn't like the what if animation so i think they're gonna do something that... but yeah I know several, several people did heard of fire stars being a love interest to peter rumor so it's spider-man and his amazing friends huh interesting Yes. Um, at this moment, I do want to remind everybody to hit that like button, please, for joining us. I always forget yeah. to. I really suck at that. I do as well because we get talking and we just forget. Yeah, it's what we do. It's what we do. Well, okay. Matt, that's an interesting question. Oh, go ahead. No, no, this is a you. You picked. Yeah. Okay. So Max said Marvel saving big stuff for D twenty three. So that's, yeah, a, no. that's an interesting question, Max. Um, let's talk about what Marvel studios. What, for what have they announced the D twenty three previously? Because I thought it was mainly like during like the star Wars celebration that they were doing that or when was the last time we had a big Marvel reveal for like phase four wasn't the blade announcement at uh San Diego comic-con oh I well I don't know I have, I don't remember oh, last was, year when it came out that was um, in 2019 I think was the last yeah big, like phase four announcement and one of them was blade I think let's see so I'm, I'm pulling it up right now just to remind myself of what had come out um with and yes the original writers are involved in the x-men 97 series yep both of them are involved actually my buddy um that has a podcast circuit 42 he interviewed them i don't know how much they can talk about it but you everybody should check out that interview on his podcast circuit 42 oh no no uh yes x-men 97 is not a rumor the rumor is the uh the spider-man and his amazing friends i thought that was the rumor yes no, but that I think they did announce it, and I think that was at D twenty three because they made some major announcements at D twenty three. Sarah, Sarah's saying that Blade was announced at San Diego Comic Con first. Oh, great! I made it into that panel. Oh, it's good for you, Sarah. Good for you. How did you, you can't, do you that? Can't that out for like five days. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see. We have they have that comes out September 9th and the tenth is when D twenty three happens. So it's fairly close to where we sit with um, San Diego Comic Con. So. Marvel is going to have to be very strategic in what they announce. So with that said, let's kind of talk about what they what we think yeah. or what has been rumored that will be announced um, well, on all H Saturday evening. Saturday is the big day. As, as yeah. uh, the past has shown, Saturdays are the big days for the movies uh, to get the entire cast there. They pull cast out of filming for these special. I mean, this is a huge thing. The huge they deal. Pull, no matter what movie they're filming, they will pull the cast, fly them back. To California, so they can be part of San Diego Comic Con for like a couple hours, and then go back to filming, which is insane. What a life! Um, the life. But Saturday is the day where a lot of the announcements come. Saturday is the day where the big, huge announcements come. So here we here's usually where DC and Marvel line up their movies. Right? This is the first mm -hmm. time we ever heard of Phase Two. This is oh my god! I remember everybody freaking out when they announced Captain America: Serpent Society. Do you remember that? Yeah, remember that we were going through the movies, and then Kevin Feige said, Wait, we got a correction to make. And they took Serpent Society and they scratched Made it off, and they wrote Civil War. Oh, yeah. dude, everybody lost it. Oh, yeah, I don't even yeah. like Civil War, the comic, and I lost it. Oh, exactly. Or even when Loki came out, or when Tom Hilson came out dressed as Loki, right? To it, uh, just they always have those big announcements. That's also where I believe they also announced, um, Lady or uh, Mighty Thor was coming with Jane Foster, so they also had. I think it was oh, yeah. last year's CD, yeah, when they announced that and they brought her out. So it's up, Joker, but, but Gus Bus. It's, it's a big deal. So I expect that while we're not gonna get all the big announcements, because they do have to say something for D23, we're going to get a lot of announcements, probably for movies that we already know are coming out, and maybe a couple of surprises here and there. So the I, first, I think some of those surprises yeah. are gonna be I, I think some of the shows went a, a specific way. So they can go ahead and announce some things this weekend. Uh, I agree. This coming up weekend. I think some yeah. of the TV shows. So if no, yeah, you know, if you're not caught up with the TV shows, you might be missing out on some of these things. I'm not going to go into detail or spoiling anything, but some of the TV shows have hinted at things that we are going to be talking about today. Uh, exactly. Any news about Spider-Man freshman year? That was announced a long time ago, and yeah. nothing ever came of it. Yeah, that that might be one down the road. That might be one they get give us something on late. Like, <laughs> time out. I'm gonna put Cody's ass here in timeout for making comments like that. This is a 
uh, a safe place where we come and talk about comics, Cody. How dare you talk about the new warriors like that, dude? Come on, man. Dom, how's the thing going, brother? Always glad to drop in on NMC when I'm stuck at work. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad everybody's here. Okay. Yes. Uh, so Saturday, do you want like what does everybody yeah. expect? What what's what does the lineup look like to so, you in your head? For sure, these are things that I think we can expect, and then we can talk about rumors. First thing we can probably expect because Black Panther: Wakanda Forever comes out November 11th. That's the next feature length film that Marvel Studios will release. We will probably get a trailer for Wakanda Forever. I'm assuming some of the cast. Um, will attend the gentleman who's playing Namor, for example, will probably be there so they can introduce him. Now, that's a rumor him. right now, right? Yes, but that's a rumor, but I'm expecting, it would, make, it would make sense for them to announce that trailer and then follow up on Monday, release the trailer live to everyone, not just people who get to see it at San Diego Comic-Con. Because remember guys, this isn't live stream. Someone early in the chat said, are they live streaming the panel? They never do that. They never um, do. No, that's uh, why you pay the big bucks to go so you can see all that stuff in person. People will, of course, film it, right? Or try no, to mean, film like, it. Here's the thing with people filming. <laughs> like, it's gotten to the point where you have to sign an NDA. You have to mm -hmm. sign these things. There could be lawsuits. So mm -hmm. people play it safe, like seriously. And it's not even just Marvel. It's everybody. It's like I remember when Doctor Who, they showed like the first two minutes of like the day of the Doctor or the time of the Doctor. And they, people had to sign. Like my friend of mine that went had to sign something that was like, if any of this gets out. Even if it comes back to me, I could be taken to court. And, you know, nobody wants to mess around like that. And besides, I'm going to show you something cool that you get the – you will what you will see most of the time is, like, uh, you'll see the trailer and people's description of the trailer. Tra and yes. yes uh, there are <clears> – <throat> there might be places that somebody – Yes, that might see. happen too. Usually what you'll see, if you see anything after the fact that comes out on video, it'll show, like, the panel and then it cuts – and then it goes black because they can't show the trailer and they cut back to the panel and everyone's reacting to the trailer that they just saw. And it was amazing. That's usually mm -hmm. what I see, but that's what I'm thinking is for sure going to happen. Another thing I think will happen because Ant-Man comes out right after that is we'll probably see the cast. will be introduced to Catherine Newton, who is um, replacing the other actress as an aged up um, daughter as his aged up daughter. Cassie Lang, so we'll probably be introduced to them. Oh, uh, Ant Man and uh, Quantum. Yeah, Quantum Quantum Manium. And the rumor is is that Jonathan Majors is going to appear, but via video, and he'll be dressed as Kang, kind of similar to how like um, Tom Hiddleston came out as Loki, not as Tom Hiddleston, just dressed as Loki. He pretended to be wait, Loki. Wait. Why is the rumor uh, that he's going to be in video? Why is that a rumor? Is he like so filming something else right now? That's it. That's possible. Yeah. That he's either filming something else or he's in some post-production stuff or whatever the case may be. Um, so there's a possibility that's going to be happening as well. So I know, I think for sure we're going to see announcements around those two film, those two films, whether it be trailers, ex exclusive looks for sure. A trailer for black Panther, because we're at that mark with the feature length films where we're about like four or five months out. Typically we get a first teaser trailer around this time for a Marvel movie. So we are due for one for Black Panther. And now whether or not we want to see any more after that, because we want to be surprised with Black Panther, um, we'll probably get tons more. We know that for sure. Okay, so you think Black, Black Panther will, will go first? I yeah. think, I really think Quantum Mania is going to go first. And I think that's where we're going to see. Uh, Even though it comes out later? I, I think because of, Black Panther and what it meant to so many people and what it means mm -hmm. to so many people uh, and mm -hmm. losing Chadwick Boseman. I think the level of excitement, you know, they know how to hype it up. They're going to start it yeah. slow. It's what you do, right? It's it's the foreplay. Then it leads into the, you know what I'm saying? Yes. I don't know how to put it in the other yeah. way. <laughs> but but, um, David, David has a good point. The Black Panther um, announced it will, it'll be, it, it's it'll never be in a, bittersweet way because everyone's excited yes. for it but it is sad that chadwick's not there for it i think it, it's no matter what i think oh my god there's gonna be people tearing up of course like because that's what's mm -hmm. gonna happen right like mm -hmm. even if he wasn't your favorite character holy crap it's just a horrible thing that ended up happening to a wonderful actor so yeah exactly way too soon Agreed. um so um, let's see what else so other things the other things i think that people are saying will for sure be announced or shown during Comic-Con will be Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 with possibly a first look at Adam Warlock. You don't, think, people, you don't think they'll do the Christmas special first? Like the 
Like they'll show a little clip of the Christmas special. They might as a lead in. in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as a mini lead. But for sure, I think they'll be doing a volume three. They're going to at least show us Adam Warlock. Will Poulter, Poulter will probably be there, I would hope. That's nope. I got you. Nope. I, got, I suck at this. I'm so sorry. I, <laughs> I know I need to rename them. I got there you. Go. Well, these two look the he same. doesn't know what Adam Warlock All looks like as an actor. Look the same. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Yeah, another thing that a lot of people are expecting is going to be since we talked about the TV shows, the Marvels. Obviously, with Ms. Marvel just ending and that whole thing happening with Bri the end credits, we're probably going to see maybe the um, the three of them on stage together, possibly mm -hmm. for the first time, her and Tanoia ha uh, Paris and um, Brie Larson, Amon Villani will probably be on stage together, maybe, if they are able to show up for it. And we'll probably get some first looks. I don't think we'll get a trailer yet because that doesn't come out till July, so... I, we'll I, get think, some I think we're work. definitely going to get something because Marvel themselves spoiled this. Like within days of the episode airing, they showed this particular. Oh, scene I know. Yeah, exactly. On, on Marvel's like uh, social social media. Oh and yeah. Now, I'm like, well, I guess everybody's watching it at the same time. That's crazy. I mean, we kind of all knew it was going to happen, um, but yeah, I guess we'll see. Exactly. So, and here's the interesting thing. With now, this is where the rumors start coming in. What will be announced alongside the Marvels? Like, what will be in this movie, for example? People are saying that there's rumors that Black Bolt will be coming, as well as Medusa and the actress Jodie Turner Smith, who's gorgeous and is married to Joshua Jackson. And I'm so jealous of her that she's been cast as Medusa. Who's and, Joshua Jackson? Oh my gosh. That guy behind this. Pretty yes, lady. Pacey okay. from Dawson's Creek. Oh God, gag me! Never or mind. The kid, or Charlie from Mighty Ducks. Let's keep, keep. Nope, no, nope. You we're still good. Okay. Anyways, we're anyways, we're anyways. So the, the rumors, rumors are that right here in the Medusa, as and yeah, and that we're going to be seeing the Inhumans. Which you know, we we talked about this in our last show. We did the Ms. Marvel um, season finale review, right? And we oh, we reviewed the series overall. And we talked about what that ending meant about her having a mutation and if they were leaving the door open where it could possibly be that she's immune or maybe a mutation just means that she's really an inhuman right and there's that whole idea of the terrorism myth and we can still bring that to light with the marvels which would make sense because it's going to be a cosmic adventure and that's where the inhumans sit so there is a possibility we will get good to have i assume y'all are talking about the mighty ducks character yeah, no, in real life, he's a great guy, but yes, <laughs> okay. Casey is not the best character in Dawson's Creek. All right, uh, so I kind of understood what Amanda was saying. So this guy's gonna be casted as Medusa. No, he's not gonna cast anything. No, wow. they're saying that Anson Mount's reprising his role of Black Bolt, and she is gonna be casted as Medusa. But then that's admitting the fact that in human, I oh, don't, God. Does it well? Right. Isn't it fact that our humans happened because it's not the same Medusa? Mm. Okay, we need a live action X Men in the SDC. C C C C. Yeah, we yet. Hi, Omar. Man, what's up, Big Don? Who cares about Dawson's Creek? Watch. Oh yeah, okay, he's good. Okay, at that's what you should have said. I watch French, so I like that. Okay, show. well, you went with Dawson's I'm, Creek, well, but you know what? Dawson's Creek had a huge fan following. It did. So, it did. And it was around, it came out when Buffy came out, which is when I was watching the CW or WB or whatever you want to call it. So there you go. Fun fact, everybody. <laughs> Fun fact. Fun All fact. right. What else do you, okay, so, so far your lineup is Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which is set to be the last one. It's supposed to be sad, emotional, because he's killing off a bunch of characters. Rumor has it. Oh. Um, it's going to be rough to see. And Dawson's Creek. No, <laughs> the introduction uh, the of the Inhuman. So is, is the Marvel going to be? Is that next year, like late next year? Because we're talking about three movies every year. Usually, is what Marvel has done, right? With the yes. MCU, with the exception of twenty twenty, uh, leading a little bit into twenty twenty one. So then next year, what are we talking about? Because Wakanda Forever is the end of this year, and that wraps up the MCU for this year. Next year is Ant Man and Wasp. The Marvels. Do we have another hidden project? Because next year, they, I, 
Guardians. Unless Guardians comes to... out. Guardians comes really? out in May. So before it's before Blade. It's Ant Man. Well, yeah, because they haven't even filmed Blade Blade yet. Hello, Blade. Axel. What's up, Axel? Well, how's it going? Yeah, you you guys want to have a conversation? Conversation like, offline. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's a patreon thing um no so <laughs> no it's um uh, ant-man the wasp in february then may gotcha. is going to be guardians july is going to be the marvels so that still leaves something for the november december time frame which you know in years past it's been like well this year it's going to be black panther um before spider-man no way home so we don't know what that is going to be yet. So they, I'm assuming they will then announce at some point what the next phase or the next films to be for 2023 or 2024 end of 2023. Yeah. Um, or at least what the phase is and then TISA system, is, which is exactly yeah. what I want it to be. Um, exactly. to, to, to add to this, I think, um, you know, we also have to talk about some shows. I think we're going to get an updated trailer to She-Hulk, which will be... With yeah, better, with better graphics, like you know, we hope, yeah, polished, which, polished up uh, special effects, hopefully, because yeah. a lot of us were like, oh, that looks, that looks cheap. Um, we're also going to get Loki. I think we get a teaser Season trailer. Two, first look. Well, they're filming it right now, so first looks probably. They, you know, they can do magic with those. They can, the yeah. But I see. I think so. When you're talking about TV shows, I think they'll save a lot, except for She Hulk, Loki season two, Agatha. Ironheart, I think they're going to save a lot of that for D23 because they need to, they need something for D23. And I think they're going to announce a lot of these shows we haven't seen anything for. They're going to announce or show first looks for a lot of those things at D23. What is Since D23? that is specifically a Disney thing and these are Disney Plus shows, that's September 9th. So it's not too far away. It's about a, they're month, about a month apart, give or take. So not okay. far apart. So then San Diego Comic Con will focus more on the shows. I'll tell you what. I mean, if, if they don't, yeah. if they don't unveil anything for Mar MCU, it's going to be a very disappointing San Diego Comic Con. And well, those rela those relations, <laughs> that would not be good for either Marvel or Disney, rather, and San Diego Comic. I mean, you're well, promoting gonna, these things. Yeah, but they're still going to release stuff. So the, one of the big rumors that people think they're going to talk about, we talk about the next phase of movies. Is Blade. We already know he's been hinted at, hinted at the end of Eternals, and there's a rumor going around. I though, when I watch the movie. Yeah, though people, we still know there's a Halloween special they have not announced yet on Disney Plus, and if it has to do with something with Blade, um, or the characters that might be featured in Blade, for example, mm -hmm. then they may announce Blade and maybe the that Halloween special in tandem, and probably get Mahersha Ali out. The rumor is that Kit Harrington will be appearing for that panel or for that part of the panel to talk about that. And um, they're also, so the big rumor that everyone is, there's some people saying that can't happen, but I'll see it to, I'll, I'll wait to see it at the actual um, convention is that Anthony Starr from the boys will be announced playing Dracula. Really? And I, and I got a picture for that. Where's that picture? I got, I got, I, I, you got it. I got you this time. Yes. Nope. <laughs> I can't. I got, I, get cool. I got you. Here we go. Yes. So there's a there's a good possibility they'll make it that announcement. Um, because that's why is that I wonder why that's a rumor right now. What what is it about this that like has he been in talks with people? Because wasn't the guy that was in Kingsman also in talks with Marvel? I mean, you always hear of people being in talks oh, with Karen people. Egerton, yeah. Yeah. Like, what is it about? Like, has has there been meetings? Like, or is this just people assuming because, well, you know how it is. Whenever an agent lets things leak out, you want to start. Yeah. You want to start spreading rumors like that. He's a great actor. Don't get me wrong. I like to see him as a good guy though, instead of a villain. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe Dracula will have a heart of gold that we don't know. I don't know. I've never. I've, I haven't read the Dracula. So you'll have to. Uh... <laughs> Thank You'll you. You'll have to fill me in. Um, Maybe the best. That's the kindest compliment. But uh, did somebody say Salma Hayek? But what is, oh, I forgot. I forgot. I got you he, next time. I got you next he time. He doesn't okay. know how to do that. Um, no, but uh, Oxney right. he said Deadpool, Dracula, Blade. Holy Deadpool. crap. That's another one. A lot of people are, the rumor is that Ryan Reynolds and Sean, well, Sean Levy won't be there, but 
Deadpool, they'll announce Deadpool um, 3, which it won't be called Deadpool 3. And I'm, I've been waiting for this. I know it's had to be a work in progress because it's been a while since uh, Deadpool 2. Mm -hmm. And there's no way that they won't keep Ryan Reynolds in the MCU in some capacity. They know how well those movies have done in the past and how much everyone loves Ryan Reynolds in that role. He's like, you know, as one of those perfectly casted, he goes as far as Robert Downey Jr. and Hugh Jackman. So I might, you, we could expect an announcement from them. Not much on the, like on the Deadpool, but just the actual solid announcement that we're getting a Deadpool three, maybe not a release date yet um, or anything along those lines, but f officially announcing that Deadpool three is coming. Is probably what's going to happen. What are your thoughts uh, on that, Omar? I don't, I don't, I mean, as much as I want to see that happen, I want the big announcement for mutants to be the big announcement for mutants. And I don't want yeah. Deadpool to take that away because I feel like Deadpool in a way would, even though yeah. some people don't think of him as a mutant, but he is a mutant. And I feel like the announcement that all of us have been waiting for, and I kind of want it to be. The very last thing, right? So I think the next thing they're gonna do is we're actually gonna meet the cast of the Fantastic Four. I don't, I don't think we're gonna see. A, I don't think we're gonna see a trailer. I think we're gonna see the cast of the Fantastic Four. But do you think it'll happen here or at D twenty three? I think it happens here because we met Blade here. We made Jay Foster sure. here. Yeah. This is this is where people going and see the movies and people talk about movies. This is what gets the word going. This is what gets people excited. All the people that are like, "Man, Phase 4 sucks. This is the worst face ever." I, you know, I'm never watching another Marvel property. You show the Fantastic 4 and you I, even in costume and you show me some old school costume, you'll get most fans back like I that. I show the actors and introduce them. That's good I enough. Them, them but as long as they have a director cuz we all know that up until December of 2021, the director was John Watts. So the question is, I'm okay with it. Have they, found, have they found a director at this point? And in addition to casting, um, I know. What are you that gonna do? Were, what are you gonna do when George Lucas walks out with the cast of the Fantastic? Nope. I don't know about that. I think. <laughs> what do you mean done. no? I George? think he's done. I think he doesn't need to do that anymore. I'm not but saying the, no. But okay, Steven Spielberg. Steven. Spielberg that is the rumor. Shut up! It is not. No, it is. I'm no. I'm serious. That's the rumor right now that Steven Spielberg was in negotiations. Steven, Steven Schindler no. slash Spielberg. That's the okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll I'll flip out. I'll flip out. I'll be like, oh, oh I know you would. I'll yeah. Flip but out I will tell you. Fantastic Four. Like of all the films, because we don't know when you if the if and when they're going to do a X Men film, right? But right now, the casting rumors for Fantastic Four are going wild. We've seen. Obviously, we got the tease of John Krasinski in uh, Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, which whether or not he's reprising the role, it could be a one-off. Kevin Feige is the one who asked um, who asked them to put it to him in the film because of the fans. So for us, that could be just a one-off. They're giving fans fan service, and it's done. But there's been so many casting rumors. Um, the most recent one I've heard is, the gentleman who, the actor from You, the TV series on Netflix about, he's like, you know, it's a romantic serial killer. I don't know. It's hard he's to a say. Creepo. He's a creepo. He's a creepy, yeah. But look at, but when you throw, but here's a fan art of him as Reed Richards. And I got to say, it no, looks no. bad. No, that looks bad. Get that he's out of there. around my age. So he's young enough that, that he could do multiple movies. He's only in his mid thirties. So he could do multiple movies. Um, other people they have um, cast. They have. There's rumors that Melissa Benoist, who plays Supergirl in CW oh, for Sea Storm. Oh, she's great. Where's Kenny? Is Kenny here tonight? He'll lose his mind. Kenny, he I know, he would love that. Kenny, where are you? I love that. That she's 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 well put together. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I'm saying. Um, uh, yeah. Natalie yeah. Dyer, which is an interesting choice from Stranger Things. I think she's a little young. If they're going for, nah. depending on what they're going for, with Fantastic Four. Which one uh, is she? Is she the sister? My yeah, sister. Yeah, Sea Storm. Yeah. yeah, that's what that. some of the yeah. I think it's a little too young. Um, they've already kind of debunked the Jason Siegel as Ben Grimm rumor. That was one that a lot of people have um, said. Also, there's reports that Jamie Dornan, who was uh, the actor, played. <laughs> I got it. I got it. 
What if it's Martin Scorsese that walks out with the cast of the Fantastic Four? Then I'll lose my damn mind. I'll be like, what? What would that film even look like? I, if it, we turn it into it some would, gangster film. You have a lot of Frank Sinatra in the soundtrack. That's yeah. Like <laughs> Martin. Like, oh, man, the rat. Yes. Rat Pack, baby. He's already. Anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. No. Um, Jamie Dornan, the Fifty Shades of Grey actor, um, who actually is very talented. If you remove the Fifty Shades of Grey, uh, I don't know what he's. I don't. I've, I've never seen that. Is he in anything else? Uh, is he in else? like I don't know Fringe instead of Dawson's Creek? No, he was in. Um, hold on, me IMDb. He was in a most recent movie that was nominated for an Oscar this past year. That it was basically oh. a, a autobiography, autobiographical Henry film by Henry Kenneth Cabot. Branagh. Kind of looks um, like Henry Cavill with a beard. Who's yeah. Beard? Well, yeah, I mean, like but I think he, if they were going to, he seems a little too old to play Johnny. Someone's like, oh, it's going to be Johnny Storm. I think he's a little too old for that. If, uh, but no, I, Victor Von Doom, I'm, I think I can see. He's very good at, he can do evil or villain esque roles. So there's a possibility that maybe that'll be what he ends up, um, being cast as I've never seen Fifty Shades of Grey. I've seen the original. So Honestly, I've never seen the vi the movies, so I just know because I'm a pop culture buff. But those are movies I just won't watch because I think that very and that's really hot. If you, know, you ever get a chance, don't read the books. I read like twenty pages and I said, "Hoo hoo!" Honestly, Belfast is the name of the comp of the movie that he was Scorsese. nominated. Scorsese would make the Nero. The Nero. Oh man, can you imagine Robert De Niro is Mr. Fantastic, Joe Pesci. As the Ben thing. Grimm, oh my god, oh my god, that would be wonderful. I was gonna say Ray Liotta, rest in peace. I love that yes. dude. Uh, as the human torch, I'm trying to think. Uh, who's the therapist in the Sopranos as Sue Storm? The oldest cast of the Fantastic Four we're gonna see. <laughs> oh man, that movie would be amazing. All right, let's keep going. Uh, um, yeah, but so there's yeah, a lot I, of I think, I think that's this is where we're gonna see our cast. I think this is where we're gonna meet our director. And if you're saying is <laughs> Rumors are Steven Spielberg. That's really interesting. Steven yeah, Spielberg. Agree. Hmm. I agree. I don't know if that's going to come to fruition. That's a big name. Like they've been really banking on lesser known directors, mainly because we're talking about cost, right? Mm -hmm. And giving them a chance to really shine. So it would be really surprising to see them cast someone as big as Steven Spielberg. I mean, this is not just, this is Steven Spielberg. I mean, that man. <laughs> Is uh, a legend. It's, it's, it's also director. not gonna come. It's not gonna come. To you. And do you no. really think he's gonna listen to Feige? If like Feige's like, look, I need you to yeah. throw in a scene with a shirtless Thor, and he's gonna be like, no, no. This but this is about family and kids yeah. in the '80s, and it's not gonna work out. Really Thank you for the super chat, Joseph. Fantastic Four should be set right, in the '60s. You. I think that would be really difficult to do, though, because then you're retconning that superheroes have existed in this world. Because we assume the coming of superhero age, the coming of the Marvel age, really started with the Avengers, right? With Iron Man. Because nobody really talked about Captain Marvel back then. She went away for a or long Captain time. America. Uh, or Captain America. He was just a, a soldier, right? Really just yeah. good at his job. It wasn't until the Avengers in 2012 that, mm -hmm. yeah. So doing something like that, it would be really cool. But... They might the world wouldn't know who they are, right? And it's the world's most popular magazine, so yeah, it would be. Yeah. Cool, I, I'm all I would be for that. This I could announce it. Fantastic Four D23 instead of Comic Con. I think I really I think that the do. movies are more about San Diego Comic Con, and Amanda's right. The, the TV shows they will leave for D23, which I'm okay with, dude. Kenny, where were you? Did you not hear what the rumor is? That well, maybe you did. Let's see. <laughs> uh, very Comic Con 2022. Hopefully, it will be as great as 2015. That is where we got the first trailer for the Super. Look how he loves the great okay, Supergirl, dude. That's who their rumor is to be casted as Sue Storm. Yes. Now you, you now you can the, the noise back, which would be amazing. He was close with Ant Man. He was yeah, close he was with close. Ant Man. I don't think he'll right. come back after the Ant Man debacle, but it would be cool to see 108 Tyrese. Thank you. Hello there. It was Lorraine Baracco. She was the therapist, and she was also in Goodfellas. It's great. See? What about Michelle Pfeiffer? Oh, she's already in a Marvel movie, but they can bring. She's, what are you talking about? This she is our face. Okay, movie. it was a mobster movie. It close to now. <laughs> that was a Scorsese. That wasn't even a mobster movie. That was about a bunch of okay, cocaine. Human. It doesn't matter. It's still. 
The bomb yeah. is a different thing. Anyway, all right. So, um, dude, Martin Scorsese is directing. I'm loving this idea. Martin Scorsese directing all these movies. I don't Somebody said Ridley Scott doing the Fantastic Four. That would be a lot of fun, honestly. But I've got one. I've got one. So here's the thing. Like, here, hear me out. I think this whole San Diego Comic Con needs to wrap up with a big symbol, like the X, right? I don't want to see no Deadpool 3, not yet, maybe next year. But the X-Men, the mutants really need to come out. Like, this is this is where you reveal it. All I need is just a stupid freaking image of the X symbol. And, and John, I'm 12 years old again. Zito as a and then, and then James Cameron ripping out of the backstage and saying, I'm the director of X-Men. James freaking Cameron, dude. I he could friend. because, you know, he said he's going to hand off the remaining um, Avatar, Avatar to the directors. Movies. Yes. So he can focus on other things. I was like, because even your board of Avatar, James Cameron. <laughs> Man, Good to know. He, you know, he's a true artist. He he's is. He's doing a lot of things. Yeah. In Hollywood. Not talking about the man himself, Maybe but his work. Maybe he'll get work. his ex-wife, um, Catherine Bigelow, to uh, do some Marvel movies. Larry's Library saying Kristen Bell is Sue Storm. That would oh. be good, depending on who they cast as Mr. Fantastic, Ooh. too, right? It's about that connection, right? Um, yeah, let's talk about some of the other little tidbits and stuff. Obviously, some of this may not come to fruition, but we can talk about it. Uh, da, 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 da. Wonder Man, obviously. Yep. Nope, I got you. Nope. Wonder Man. So the another thing, we knew that we got the announcement that they were creating a Wonder Man TV show um, for Disney+. Plus, <laughs> and apparently... There Sorry, is you, the, you both directing at MCU. That no, you're Actually, fine. You, you both would be great at directing something like Ecstatics. Go Why ahead, no. So they're saying that they'll announce Wonder Man and they'll introduce Henry Golding as Simon Williams. Um, Henry Golding, uh, most recently from Crazy Rich Asians, if you're familiar with that role. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen that. No. Yeah, he was just in that Netflix movie Persuasion that got panned by the critics that just dropped like this week, too. But not, neither here nor there. That's not on him. Uh, they also said, this is interesting, said that Evan Peters is reprising his role as Ralph Boner for this show, but he'll what? have a different name. Can we just get rid of that guy? Like, nope. forever? They love, they. I mean, I wanted Evan Peters to come in as Quicksilver in general. I was so disappointed by that bait and switch that we got in WandaVision. He's a but he doesn't even, how does he, oh, wait a minute. Unless they are tying it back to what I was saying that they should t tie it into just that love triangle of Vision, Wonder Man, and Scarlet Witch. And that's yep. the reason why you have a Quicksilver. Although I don't, I never like, I like the other Quicksilver too. This guy's funny. Um, but I just have a bad Ralph Boner in my mouth taste. Get get out of it. Out of context. Fantastic. And I would love to see him reprise a role in the MCU if possible. Um, the other big one, and see, this is where it comes with D23, if it, they're going to focus on the TV show. <laughs> no. That's from Miller's That's why you Victor. wouldn't touch them with a 10-foot pole, because they Marvel needs no oh. drama in the personal side. Scorsese, Ezra Miller, Quicksilver the movie. Sad truth, X-Men. F4 or Deadpool, it'll be butchered. You think so? I don't know, man. I don't know. I actually like the original Brian Singer movie. I didn't. I didn't mind it that much. I thought. Excellent. You know, I thought it was fine. I thought it was great. Even I'm, you know, and I wasn't the big like. Oh, Wolverine needs to be a little guy. Like I was okay with the casting Hugh Jackman. It was great. I mean, you got to bring you got to bring certain audience into the movie, right? Yeah. Not just about the nerds that love these things. Exactly. We always need the general audience to be on board because then we can't get the ticket sales we get. Um, the other announcement is. That might happen, but it could also be saved for D23. The announcement of Daredevil Man Without Fear with Charlie Cox reprising his role and apparently Isaac Gonzalez coming back as Electra. So, Time out a second. What, yeah. what is this? This is a I thought Daredevil and Kingpin were going to be an echo. They that so that is something that's supposed to happen. So we may get new, we may that may be information at D23 too, but there's also talk that a Daredevil Man Without Fear show is going to be also announced. Because they're going to make their... So Echo will probably come out first, and then we'll get Daredevil Man Without Fear coming on after so, that. So at the panel of... Honestly, this... At San Diego Comic-Con, what I wanted them to confirm is this is the Darede your Daredevil, and this is your Kingpin. Yeah. 
from the Netflix series. I don't know if they'll use Netflix series since it is Disney. They might say from the previously released series. Yeah, that's true. They, Good point. Whatever lawyer term they have to use. Oh crap! And then they're and then that's where uh, that's where you lead into, and they're going to be an echo as those characters. Yeah. Uh, hold on, this is a really important question right here. Uh, where do you get all your rumors, Amanda? I got that one. Uh, she goes to this website called WeGotThisCovered.com. <laughs> <laughs> She's a Patreon over there. I um I look Talk up me. different things. I look up different things on the internet. I watch a lot of YouTube shows. Um, there was apparently a Reddit a subreddit that came out about all of this. And that's kind of what spurred a lot of these theories and things like that. So okay, though. I was having so really good be hit or miss, but depending on it, but there's, I know there's like one, I think it's either Reddit or um, a 4chan where they usually, someone comes in and gives you a very good indication of what the plots of certain movies that are about to come out. Like no way home. For example, someone had leaked um, on Reddit about the, about the plot and everything like that. Like, two weeks before the movie dropped and i was like dang that was really accurate when i looked because i i read it of course but i still enjoyed seeing the film but i wanted to see how accurate like are these people who are dropping some of these spoilers legit and do they have some clout so yeah i get some of it from there mostly so the lady that is playing echo is the same lady that played her Play in the hawkeye series alakwa cox is that your yeah. name yes i think so Mm -hmm. she yeah. she's reprising her role as echo for the tv show of and it, it okay. is a spin-off of hawkeye actually because you first appear there yeah. which is really and so does kingpin ironically are they all so they all going to be in there which makes sense um oh they the own one. the netflix wait the word they own netflix well <laughs> good because netflix they're they're uh man they're hurting for cash so bad they're now talking about um selling some of their properties to cable network channels for syndication and reruns because they need the money wow man has got people including fence people well people would never forget these I things do they? i also have people who fix my um my ceiling no. this um, is what you call a humble brag yeah this not so much. <laughs> yes you should have talk, I, it's not that long only Quicksilver. Thank you, Gabriel. I loved him, too. Reddit has the keys to the universe. Gonzalez is not a good actor. She's a minority. She's minority Dakota Johnson. Stop trying to fan cast her. Who's Gonzalez? Which, who are we talking about? Uh, is that oh, that's, uh, the girl who plays Electra. I mean, I wasn't a fan of her in Daredevil, but if they're going, if they're going to try to stick with the Netflix Daredevil is our Daredevil, and if they want to bring back Electra... I'm not saying they can't no, cast it, her. No, dude, if they're going to bring back Electra, they, 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 they got to bring back Jennifer Gardner. True. She's the when true. I mean, she's Greek, right? Is she real Greek? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't looked up her thing. <laughs> then you but might I mean, as well bring back Kevin Cast right? It has been done. Oh, Why did you have to bring him up? You know it hurts. Because okay, Logan okay. has a point. They don't Hear have to. The out. red Fantastic people four. are saying it's her. It doesn't mean it has to be her, but it might be. Fantastic Four, directed by Terrence Howard. <laughs> no, yes. he's not doing that. This is what he meant by next time, baby. <laughs> next time. <sighs> okay, Elodie Young was Electra in Daredevil. Who's Gonzalez? I don't I don't know who that is. Wognado's well, having a conversation with somebody else. I was like, yeah, her real name is Jennifer Gard. <laughs> I know it's <laughs> not. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> Wow. Uh, all right. So that's that's what I'm hoping to see as far as movie news. Wait, wait uh, there's wait, one wait, more wait, thing wait. that oh, I'm sorry. I, apparently I, could be announced, which I want your opinion on. Uh, Terrence Howard as a Mr. Fed <laughs> Ter Terrence Howard can do anything, okay? He Except keep his role as our uh as former he machine. might be a director. We don't I haven't seen anything, but that's not he might be a director. <laughs> you ain't got no, you ain't got no look, King's portal cow is I do not have a spiritual advisor, so you got me one up on that one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, no. the CEO daughter in Godzilla versus King Kong. I agree, she is not good. Yeah, is she rumored to be casted as somebody? Is that, is that as, what as, as Electra? Yeah, oh, I don't know who she is, I don't even remember that movie that much. Uh, Daredevil all right, what's, what's... Kong, neither. <laughs> thank you, Larry. Right, he did. Terrence Howard is so smart and proof. One times one is two. <laughs> All right. What's what's what, what's the my last take thing, The last Marvel, and then we'll talk about DC at suit two. Um, okay. is the announcement that they, or the 
rumor they may announce a World War Hulk Hulk uh, four part miniseries that with a limited theatrical release on that'll be on Disney Plus. What's that? I have so many questions about it because a Meek and Korg have already been introduced in very different capacities than what we've seen them in in World War Hulk. Uh huh. There is already a World War Hulk kind of already happened in Ragnarok, so no, that was that was Planet Hulk in Ragnarok, right? Okay, Planet. Yeah, well, that was more Planet Hulk. Okay, so uh, we're, tell me the rumor again. That they're going to do a four part. They're going to announce a four part mini series for World War Hulk with a limited that'll be on Disney Plus, but have a limited theatrical release. Wait, like as a movie, like cut as yeah. a movie for theater. Probably, I guess. I don't. I think I'm just like. If wow. it's four parts that are both are like about 45 minutes long, then I get like. Then, I mean, honestly, all you're doing is just borrowing the name from the comic, right? Because yeah. how can there be a world a World War Hulk if he's not pissed at anybody? Like he's he's like happy Professor Hulk Shrek. Hulk well, we don't right know what's now. gonna happen in She Hulk. I'm just kidding. I don't know. But he saw the bad <laughs> CG, so he gets pissed off. <laughs> I mean, I mean, how can you have, I mean, the idea of World War Hulk was like, hey, we're blasting you off into space. Yeah. And then he's like, who did this? I, they killed my wife and my kid. Yeah. Oh, it was those a-holes, the Illuminati. Well, I'm coming to Earth and beat their asses. Yeah. So I don't even understand how that would work. Not in the MCU, right? There hasn't been anything uh, unless they do something in like you mentioned She-Hulk, because there hasn't been a movie that has shown anything with... When was the last time we saw Hulk? We saw him in the end of Shang-Chi, which he that wasn't was even hulked out. That was more Bruce Banner, right? Yeah, he's back to being Bruce Banner. Yeah. I'd rather see the Trial of the Incredible Hulk, like a adaptation of that. I just don't see a need for this, unless it's like World War She-Hulk, where she savages at the end of her TV show. Then, holy crap, that might actually be pretty cool, but I don't know. Um, I, I guess, what do I think about it? That's exactly what I think about it. I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> even know how you can make that happen. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's the that's the last major rumor, I think. of. I don't think that's something that they would announce at, if, at San Diego Comic-Con. I think everything else we've kind of talked about is a lot more plausible because it's either – been announced but no details surrounding it and mm -hmm. we need details because it's getting close um so that's why i think that that one just seems a little far-fetched to me why would they do that each episode will be hulk beating each hero off this is on disney plus not cinemax i don't <laughs> remember they do now that you can separate the ratings oh wait never mind <laughs> we're thinking of a different he's not gonna be there beating anybody off oh <laughs> omar and you're that. Okay, if we have that World War Hulk series, that we won't have a Hulkbuster fight in the comics. No, no, you won't. Mm -hmm. uh, Hulk Gray adaptation that could work if it takes place in that past. How do you replace William Hurt though? I, I'm curious how they're going to replace him as Thunderbolt Ross. I mean, they could get another actor. They already replaced the actor that because he was in the Eric bon uh, Banna movie, and they replaced Eric Banna with Mark Ruffalo. So it's been doomed to four. That's the impossible man. Huh. Oh my god. Okay, I was pretty sad they never did Red Hulk. I mean, Red Hulk could still happen, and that's how Thunderbolt Ross lives on. I don't know. It is it, it is a it, it's is it's definitely a strange place to to put yourself, right? When you have actors like this that have passed away, like I mean Chadwick Boseman. We still don't yeah. know the future of T'Challa. We don't know if they're gonna replace him. Exactly. Eric Bana is not MCU. Yeah, you meant Edward Norton, but, but it's fine. I was gonna but let Edward you know Norton that. is what I meant. I'm so sorry. You were you right. Edward Norton. I knew in my head he meant he meant that. She, she did not know. She did not. Know. You knew Kyle the Mighty, but she did not. Uh I mean, I got here late. Did you address the rumor of who was playing Dracula and Blake? Did you address that? We did, yes. yes. And that's who Anthony it's, Starr is the this rumor guy actor. Right here. Yep. Hey now. I mean, I I love him. Dracula, and he's fantastic. So I'd be okay, I would be all on board with an Anthony. No, Star. she's already been in a Marvel movie. They messed that up. She was in the Eternals. She was in Eternals. It's true. 
which we still know what's going to happen with them. And I don't think we're going to find out yet quite maybe. Um, All right. DC moving on to DC because I think that's it for Marvel, right? Like as far as the things we want to see, what we hope to see. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's all this hits. Uh, next Magnet Magnet asked us um, another obvious question. How would this work with the outstanding universal distribution rights issue with the character? Would it be built a de facto Avengers 4.5 film? Um, Oh, world, the World War Hulk. If it's if it's an actual true fact and not just a rumor, because someone really wants World War Hulk in the MCU. Um, clearly, with the with She Hulk coming on board and having that as a series, I think that they could work something out with Universal. I think Universal doesn't really want to do anything with the character, but they have the rights. And worst case, they get some money out of it, and I'm sure they're not going to complain about it. They have unlike Sony. They don't seem too pressed on the matter. If that you think sense. Sony's going to show like the first clip of Craven in this movie? Morbius. I, they'll announce Morbius yes. first. The Morbius first. Like uh, no, they're not going to no. But we haven't even talked about Sony. I'm sure they're going to be there, and it would be cool to see some Craven. You ain't lying, Lionheart. But go ahead, go ahead, Amanda. Yeah. What's that? No, I was saying it wouldn't. It wouldn't hurt to uh, uh, see some Craven footage. To see Aaron Taylor Johnson in that role, that would be pretty awesome. I'd be on board with that. So we might get that. We, I, I would, I would think with Sony, maybe we'll get some Madam Web stuff. We might see the whole cast together, all the women that have been cast in that in that film, and actually learn who they're playing. That would be really cool to see that at San Diego Comic Con because we haven't got that information yet. We just know some, you know, we know there's been a few people who've been cast. Uh, besides Dakota Johnson as Madam Web, which is an interesting choice, given we all know Madam Web is a much older woman in the comics. So I don't know what they're going to do with that. But it, I think those are two things that they should, if they have panels, announce for Sony's Spider-Verse. Does a casual audience even know these characters? Mm -mm. Madam Web and Craven? No. No. No, they don't know Morbius. No. Nope. Uh, so I don't know what they're going to do. But honestly, let's think about that, though. If done right, a casual audience got to know Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, Guardians of the Galaxy weren't an A-list title in Marvel Comics. I mean, I'm sure people have heard throughout the years of Captain America, Iron Man, but nobody had really heard of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy unless you read comics, right? So if, we, um, if they do it right, then yeah, everybody's going to be putting freaking Madam Web in their vocabulary. But if done like I don't know, Morbius. Although Morbius is pretty popular and alive because of memes and and it's what Morbius. It Morbius. It really of no, look how many people here are saying it's Morbius. Oh, no. Morbius. I mean, Morbius two. But Morbius. does it equal profit? No, it doesn't. But I'm saying, <laughs> look, look at how many people. If you're smart, if you're, at, I mean, look at look at how many people went to see Deadpool because of all the memes. Oh, the popularity yeah. of Deadpool grew because memes became a thing, and they saw this funny guy breaking the fourth wall and from comic book panels, and they were like, they got to know Deadpool that way, not from reading the comics, right? Look yeah. how many kids are on TikTok saying it's Morbin time, or Morbius became a, a, a joke that might actually, I don't know, I'm not saying it's gonna happen that. Sony might actually cash in on and do so. I mean, they did try to bring it back to theaters and everybody saw how ass it was again. Uh, yes. But it, I don't know. I mean, they might. And Venom did well. Venom oh, yeah. did really well. And I did not like that movie at all. All right. Uh, Craven the Animal Lover. I've yet to see Morbius. Am I missing out? Mm, you can watch our review of it if you want. <laughs> that is all you need to watch. Morbius. <laughs> that might be the best title right there. Oh my goodness! Um, Deadpool also had some great. Yes, they did a really good job. Oh yeah, and Brian Reynolds—they had the little mini clip they did. That was great. Oh yeah, uh, wonderful. I just wait for fans to say She Hulk rips off Deadpool for breaking the fourth wall. Oh yeah, come on! Mm -hmm. I mean, fan, fans are like—they uh, were already hating on She Hulk, right? Can't because wait to see. Yeah, yeah. So it's possible. Um. Let's the all right, all right, all right. I'll yeah, start. so let's, let's, talk, let's talk about DC because DC. I'm gonna grab another they, year. You keep talking about DC. I'll be right. Okay, so DC, 
doesn't have quite a lot on its plate as much as Marvel, right? Um, we know there's lots of projects that are, you know, on the horizon, but either haven't been casted or we haven't heard a lot about. We also have a couple of projects that are supposed to come out in 2023, but there's so much controversy around them. DC hasn't even really worked at promoting them very hard. And they also have DC fandom coming out later this year as well. So what DC actually will show at their panel. So their panel is actually before Marvel's. Theirs is on Saturday um, at 10, 15 AM. So they get the morning and then Marvel gets the evening. And what I think they'll end up showing at the uh, DC panels, probably going to be centered around Black Adam. With that coming out so quickly or so soon, we'll probably see a new trailer for Black Adam. We're probably going to see The Rock, I mean, show up and promote the crap out of that movie because he's really good at doing that. So we'll get some more information about Black Adam. We'll probably get our first trailer for Shazam, Fury of the Gods. We've got that teaser trailer ahead of San Diego Comic-Con of just like, I think Zachary Levi just sipping on a thing or whatever. So we'll probably get a actual full teaser trailer um, at this Comic-Con that they'll release the following uh, Monday, just like they would for Black Panther. Or maybe they might wait a day or two, depending on the what happens with that. Because you want to see who breaks records, right? So I think we'll get a Shazam Fury of the Gods. We'll see the cast maybe come out and we'll see a trailer, for example. But other than that, the what only other Blue, Blue Beetle. Ahead. Blue Beetle is the only other movie I think they would actually un, you know, show first looks. We have some we've seen some of the onset photos. Um, I think we have a picture of um um his suit. Let me see if I have the picture here. Yeah. Did before. Um, Here's my yeah, looks very comic, comic accurate. I love the kid that's playing him. Yes. Uh, Cobra the kid Kai. That, uh, plays Miguel in Cobra Kai. He's a phenomenal little actor. I don't want to say little. He's tall. But, he's, no, uh, he's, he's, young. He's, he's a young man. He's a man. Young man. He's a man, young, man. <laughs> young man. And I'm, yeah, I'm excited for the movie. I like Jaime Reyes. Hoping to see Ted Cord. What I really, really hope, honestly, and you you were right. I caught the tail end of that as I was coming back from my beer run. Uh, yeah. Is the fact that it is a little bit tragic of, you know, what's happened lately with the DC, you know, yeah. both Aquaman and Flash would have been getting just hyped up all. Like, I mean, probably Flash would have been seen by now because I think it was supposed to come out. So many years ago, with or and now delay again until next year. But if it was delayed again until next year, then they definitely would have shown some trailers, they would have shown some love towards those properties. And hell, even Black Adam, they might have come out with a spin off like of the JSA, the Justice Society of America. We already have half the cast, let's get them together. Like, yep, so. It, it's really it really sucks what's happened to them you know that's not their fault no they can't predict what their actors are going to do or what they're not going to do i mean honestly marvel could uh, the same thing could happen to marvel they could yeah put all their money on on a particular actor like uh i don't know one of the cast members of the guardians of the galaxy well it goes it goes volume three we set this up for years doesn't matter right so yeah i guess we'll we'll see uh what they end up doing i'm hoping they take that negativity they spin it around and they focus on the good things that they have coming out, which would be really cool. Uh, like I said, I'd like to see some... It, it it hurts to think about DC because they do like to announce things yeah. and then nothing happens. I remember when they announced Man of Steel 2. I know Man of Steel was not everybody's favorite movie, but I was excited to see this world building. That yes. they were gonna do. Then they were going to do more Batman movies. Somebody else was going to come in as a different director, take over Nolan, and create keep Christian Bell as Batman, but that never happened. And it feels like uh, that's what they do is they announce things. They announced, oh, what was the movie? Uh, that was it. Grant Morrison was working with somebody, I think. Was it the secret? David DuVernay? Is that what you're talking about? The New Gods? Yeah, The New Gods. Yeah, and right. that got scrapped, which was That got shame. scrapped. Yeah. So it almost feels like Oh man, it's hard to get excited about these things. And somebody earlier said DC needs a hug. I kind of feel like that. Really, they they, they kind of do. Uh, yeah. What's up, Paga? Directors of Batgirl just said the movie would be set in sort of a spaghetti of multiverses. You will have to see the other movies to understand what happens, and that's a lot to. Oh unpack. no! You'll have to see the fact that you have to what see a lot of movies. movies. 
Well, there are other DC properties, right? Michael like Keaton, Batman. We know he's going to be in this. Like Michael Keaton yes. or Batman. No, no, I'm sorry. Ben Affleck is going to be in the in the Batgirl, right? Or am I wrong? Am I getting no, that back? He will be in Ben. Michael Keaton's supposed to be in in Leslie Grace's Batgirl movie that's coming out, and they okay. and that's another one I was thinking they might bring her and Michael Keaton just because while they may not want to promote the Flash, even though that has to come out, and that is still supposed to come out i think next year along with aquaman they may not want to fully promote that movie but they can still promote michael keaton as our batman from 1989 by bringing him out for batgirl so there's still that possibility i just i don't like the idea of making fans going marvel has done that because that's what they've kind of set the formula to do Watch Iron Man, watch it to the end. Who the hell is this Nick Fury guy? Oh, there's this other Iron Man movie that introduces us to Thor. Now I want to watch Thor. That leads into, you know, Captain America and then Avengers. But DC, uh, the, DC never really had that formula. One thing then no. lead into another. It, it was kind of like, and I'm okay with that because you have to stand out, right? Marvel did it. It's too late for you to do start doing it now. No, Stick out it. with your own thing, which was I thought was really cool which in Shazam. They kind of made it seem like a pocket universe because there was a Superman there, but it wasn't Henry Cavill. Uh, ben Affleck was a different Batman than Christian Bell, so I thought, okay, well, different pocket universe is cool. So this whole thing with spaghetti western, I I don't know. Costume looks cool. Yeah, it looks really Batgirl good. Costume. Um, yeah, boy, the tone really changes when we talk about DC. Huh? I know it's just well, it is. Well, you know, one of the things we did talk about the Blue Beetle movie. If you look on IMDb. Yeah. Um, Susan Sarandon is casted as Victoria Cord, so you have that. Susan Sarandon. Well, that's another uh, movie I can add her to that movie game we're going to play. DC exactly. News. John Constantine HBO show scripts is in the works, and a bunch of them are ready to set. Uh, ready says report. I am all for speaking out against your oppressor, but it seems that Ray didn't actually have anything on John's being a bad person. Oh, this is uh, the guy that played. Uh, Ray Donovan was that his name? Uh, Cyborg. Yeah, not Ray Donovan. No, That's the... no not Ray Donovan. Ray um, Fisher is with Ray Fisher. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ray uh, is all different animal. Shut up. Yeah, <laughs> I've been drinking. Um, he's the one that spoke up against Joss, uh, up against Joss, Joss Whedon, Whedon and, and DC. The actual like, yeah, Jeff Johns and everyone at DC as well. Yeah. What do you think about the Joker too? Do you think we're gonna get Lady Gaga and uh, what's his name up on stage? And that'll be a musical. That's I don't know how I that. feel about that, given just, I mean, maybe they can do it. Todd Phillips seems to have, you know, unmasked or, you know, found this, the right formula for the original, the his first Joker. So maybe we'll see something different. But they might announce it officially. I know that right now that's not an official thing like that, you know, we're going to have a title or anything like that for Joker 2. But maybe they'll announce it at this CDC at a CDC at the SDCC that we will get a uh, Joker two, and they'll announce the cast, and maybe they'll announce the actual official title of the film. Why not? <laughs> Ray Donovan was Saber Tooth. That's so right. <laughs> Shut up! I'm not even kidding. The only good thing about Joker two is that it's not a Batman who laughs movie. I don't. I, I I get why people love the first one. I think you did you and I review the first one. We did. That? We saw we it. Did. Yeah, we saw it together. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was groundbreaking. I had seen previous films like that in the past. Uh, Man and Omar, financial, political, must mandate through psych and uh, HR. There was the first part to that. Oh, oh, was there another part of that? Yeah, I think there was a first part that make more sense. Okay, I can't find that. Okay, wait, wait, here it is, here it is. If nothing else, it demonstrates how crucial it is for modern companies of their size. I'm not of the opinion that all organizations of a sufficiently large staff size, commercial, wait a minute, let me find the second part. Oh my gosh. Uh, hold on a minute. You know you could help me out here, Amanda. I can't find it. Oh, yeah, here it is. You got it, you got it. There you go. All right, must mandate through psych. Psychic and HR ethics evaluations with figures in their positions, these uh, critical to the organization and its members and individually stressful. But I mean, 
<laughs> I hate to compare it to comics, but everybody can have a bad day. Yes, yeah, a bad day, right? Evaluation, but everybody yeah. gets sad. Things happen, you know, and or you drink, or you know, people don't know you have a drug problem. Like it's 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 almost impossible to know these things, right? Just like people yeah. you work with, exactly. just like everybody. These are people. Yeah, Good someone. Earlier, like someone earlier in the chat said it's a good thing that Robert Downey Jr. got all that out before Iron Man, and it's true. I mean, I, honestly, I think it really helped the role. I mean, it, it like, yeah, uh, the guy, you know, he was doing great work with the, like Charlie Chaplin, and then uh, disappeared out of the spotlight for years, and that's what he needed. Yep. Uh, okay. Anything else other DC? We talked about. Uh, what about some of the animated projects like um, Super? Super Sons? You guys excited for the Justice League Dark Universe that J.J. Abrams is building? If I see is that it. still happening? See, that's, I, haven't, and that's, I haven't heard anything about that. That's the problem. You don't, like, these. a lot of these properties that these things, like, you're talking about what animated. Honestly, if we don't, if it's not, like, they're not talking about it, I don't know what's really happening. It's just, I don't know if it's just that the rumor mill isn't as active on dc projects it is as it is on uh marvel projects or if it's just that there is nothing really like happening like they're in development but they're not moving forward enough that there's anything to speak of does that make sense mm -hmm. and that's why we had like i remember that last dc fandom all these announcements of things that still haven't really come to fruition and when I was looking, because someone had mentioned they're going to wait for to reveal things at DC Fandom, there's not even an official date for DC Fandom yet for 2022. Um, so I don't even know how when that's going to happen. It'll probably be in like November. I think that's when the last one was, maybe like October, November time frame. But I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe that's when they'll announce so, the flash stuff. Uh, this is an honest question. Okay. So with shows that are DC properties, are we still including things like Sandman? Is that still a DC property? Because it's not on HBO now, which is part no, of it. It's on Netflix. It's on Netflix, right? Uh -huh. It's a ver it, it was a Vertigo property. Uh, Neil Gaiman owns the rights because that was kind of the, the Vertigo deal, right? But it was an imprint of DC. So with shows like that, like, or, or how does that work? I don't, I don't understand, like. So is, are they broke? Like, is DC does DC have any part or say in any of that? Any money go to them? Well, I, I don't know. I don't know what the breakdown is as far as that's concerned. That that's that must be a licensing nightmare because you're gonna have jo uh, Joanna Constantine in it, who's a character that has appeared in DC Comics. You're gonna have you're gonna have characters that are DC comic characters in there, like Cain and Abel. I assume. I, I assume. Well, I, I don't know. I'm assuming things now. Thought he was uh, in there, but yet you you also have shows like Lucifer. Right? Yeah, Lucifer was also been part of the Sandman universe. Exactly, so it's gonna be pretty interesting to see. Uh, the big announcement would be Omar Vell in Marvels. Oh, that would be great. My luck, they'll have somebody else like Omarion or something. Um, <laughs> is he acting? Hasn't been I don't think I've seen him since uh, not Stomp the Yard. It was another film of the same variety. Let's see. They can just repurpose them to be non DC. Yeah. Uh, they, they 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 totally can, right? Um, yes. So I guess it's interesting to see how they deal with that. Like I said, that must be like a licensing nightmare to deal with. As soon as X Men ninety seven was announced, everyone forgot about the Batman, the Cape Crusader animated series coming to HBO. But is that still happening? I haven't heard anything about that. I haven't heard anything else about the Batman animated series. Lucifer started as a Fox property, though. Gwendolyn Christie is our Lucifer now, yeah. and we're better for it. Yeah, so I heard she's playing Lucifer, which makes sense. Actually, the promotional art that I saw of her. It's great, yeah. Now, Lucifer is actually based on a character, and I get it, right? It's it's Neil Gaiman in the end. He can choose his actors whomever he wants to. Uh, Death is actually uh, based on a – was it a friend? Tangerine, what was her name? Uh, on a real person, right? So that's why fans were like upset that they casted somebody that didn't look like death. Uh, yes. But Lucifer makes sense because Lucifer, like the Endless, can change their appearance. So Lucifer's based on my dad. Oh, yeah, good looking guy. Or eh, Tori Amos. No, Tori Amos is a. Uh, 
Delirium. Is it Delirium? Yeah, Delirium. The crazy girl? That's yeah. who uh, is based on Tori Amos. I can tell you with full insider information that the Cape Crusader series is happening. I'd like to know how Wognado knows this. Yeah. And with Superman were announced for 2023. Hmm. Well, then maybe we'll see some announcements at San Diego Comic Con surrounding that stuff. I'm um, excited. Or for that. they'll wait for that's their it. fandom. Thank you, Cinnamon Hadley. That that's who it was. She passed away a couple of years ago because he took a big uh fundraiser for her. I uh, no, I don't think uh no, that's not Neil Gaiman's wife. They're just really, really, really good friends. And Tori Amos is also crazy like the uh delirium. Yeah, so that works out. Oh, well, Gnado says that his brother in law. Oh uh, what do, do... Go you ahead. do it. No, you do it. Ladies first. Nope, now I lost it. Okay. That his brother-in-law is an animates for Warner Brothers. So that would be a good inside track. Are you allowed to share that information? <laughs> yeah, get your get your brother-in-law on this show. My sister That's works for a talent agency and she tells me things, but I feel like I shouldn't share that publicly if she tells me those things because she makes too much money to, for me to jeopardize it. <laughs> uh, I will be 100% honest. I love these creators. Neil Gaiman. Chris Claremont. I have no idea who they're married to. I don't really follow their private lives. That's their lives. And I assume I assume that Amanda Palmer's still married to him. I don't know, really. Mm -hmm. uh, he didn't sign nothing. Near me condition. I hope they announced Fantastic Four and X-Men. Plus, people need to stop hating on She-Hulk because of the unfinished CGI. Seriously. I'm sure that's going to happen, honestly. The unfinished CGI is what yeah. they're going to show, like, more polished effects. Um, DCEU. Anime show. Here's some things that I actually want to see talked about. Are we done with DC? Yeah, Panda? yeah go oh, ahead. What? No, you're good. Yeah. Some of the things that I really wish that they would start announcing at shows that get just overshadowed by com um comic book movies and TV shows are actual comic book events to get hyped up about. I think they kind of shifted the focus of that to New York Comic Con. Like New York Comic Con, C2E2 are like the places where they announce actual comic book things. Like What's the next yeah. Marvel event? What's the next uh, DC event? Who's the next big writer that's coming to write X-Men? Who's taking over Batman? Things like that. Oh, wait. Strange Adventure is still happening. The show. Is that still happening? I can look it up. Let's see. Garth Ennis, Donnie Cates. I don't follow their personal lives. just what I gather from interviews. I don't... Yeah, I have no idea. And even when I interview, like, Garth Ennis, I have... Don't really ask him who he's married to. That's his business. I know Chris Claremont is married to Mrs. Claremont. Nice. There's not a lot on it on IMDb. Yeah. And the most recent news on that. The next DC Lin Isn't the next launch after uh, Dark Crisis? Isn't that happening now? That's what I've heard. I don't know. So I'm trying to read some stuff up on some of the things that they're that people have been talking about um like justice league dark which it looks like the ceo the new ceo for warner brothers the one who took over that was in in at discovery whenever they bought out warner brothers just so oh, they can get right. so that yeah because at&t doesn't want to time warner's like ah we don't want to be a part of this streaming wars thing you break off and branch off and do your own thing um so it looks like he is trying to push the justice league dark they also has another project that J.J. Abrams is working on, a like dark sci-fi thriller for HBO. So it looks like J.J. Abrams is doing a couple of projects for Warner Brothers. Um, but it looks like as far as the San Diego Comic-Con, they're going to go light um, and not have a lot of things represented this year in hmm. probably anticipation of their fandom is what it looks like. Has there been any updates on the Nova movie? No updates, not yet. It's been rumored. It's just uh, been we, rumored are a, we are getting a Nova omnibus, and it's Richard Ryder. Yep. The Todd Fa Todd Father has been talking about the Spawn movie, man. Since I remember when I interviewed him last year, he had to jump off my interview to go and talk to the possible director of Spawn the movie, which is cool. Uh, so I hope it happens. People really love that original movie. John Leguizamo is the clown. Pretty fun. Yep, exactly. 
What are your all's favorite Marvel event? Oh man, Marvel Secret. I kind of dig Secret Wars 2015. I thought that was good. Yeah, that was good. Do you like War of the Realms? You like War of the Realms? I love right? War of the Realms. That was really good, and it was cool because you're right about C2E2 because we that's when we were there and they announced everything and we Jason oh, Aaron, yeah. Russell Dodderman, Matt Wilson were all there talking about it. So that was really exciting. The so, CEO of Discovery is cutting shows oh, yeah. that was about to be made or not enough views. Also, he had he's also cheap for budgets. Oh, yay! That's exactly what these. Yeah, if we remember, are. we talked about it. I think a few a couple months back when they announced the whole um, Discovery and Warner Brothers kind of separating off from from um, from Time Warner and becoming its own entity, and Discovery's CEO becoming the head of it, and he was trying to look for someone. Not like a Kevin Feige, but more like someone who's good with money um, and business side of things to take over the DC properties as like the head showrunner, the head executive producer. Mm -hmm. And so that's why when we're talking about all these properties that they're like, yeah, this is going to happen. Um, it's almost like, well, until this new CEO decides well, budget cut, I don't want it to happen. So I'm, I'm, that's why I'm just so interested to see what actually does come through and what he decides to make. Because he is a little bit stingy on the budget. Do you guys have any more news on Invincible Season 2? Okay, so let's talk about indie things. Yeah. I really think this is where we're going to see the trailer to uh, Invincible 2. It's been over a year, right? And we haven't heard a single peep. Nope. Animation Studio. I mean, they, they cranked that thing out. So hopefully we'll get a teaser trailer or a full-blown trailer to Season 2. So, because Amazon, I think, yeah, Scott Nine saying it. Amazon's also having a panel this week. So, Boys Season 4, see, maybe we'll see somebody casted. Maybe. Oh, that'd uh, be fun. Well, who oh, is the guy? They're probably, gonna, they'll probably show some stuff for the Varsity, the Boys, the Varsity, the spinoff. Because <laughs> if you have watched Instagram, they've already started to, they've had a couple of um, videos released just the last couple of days with the cast of the varsity of boys, the varsity introducing themselves and who they're going to be playing. So we'll probably see that at the Amazon panel as well in, with the boys news. I know when I interviewed um, Derek Robertson, we talked about how they had casted and actually filmed some footage with, uh, I'm so sorry, Dean, Jeff, is it is the guy that played uh, Negan? Jeffrey D. Morgan. Yeah, so they actually casted him. He wouldn't. He didn't tell me who, uh, but they actually casted him and filmed some stuff. So he, we will be seeing him in season four, whoever he's going to be. So yeah, um, Steven's saying that their panel is going to be only about Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, which I oh, did. Wow. See, when I saw the lineup. I did see there is a panel for Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. So maybe that is the only Amazon. I have to look back and see if this is like an Amazon panel. Yeah, so we got a couple things going here. We got Rings of Power. Mm -hmm. Amazon, Disney Plus has Willow. What's what's it Willow called? The Willow, the 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 next Wait, adventure. The, yeah, something like Electric that. Boogaloo. Uh, and yeah. the uh, Game of Thrones, right? We have the House of Dragons. They have their own yeah, separate Matt. panel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are three fan. First of all, God bless. What I would love to have been fifteen years old with these TV shows, movies, comic book movie. Oh my God! Like, pinch me. Um, it's crazy. They may all suck, all three of them. I don't know. I haven't seen them. I'm, I'm, I'm not yet. Hoping they're good. Uh, but you know what I'm saying? Like, holy crap! Three different fantasy shows and three different networks. Like, holy yep. crap! Yeah, I, I couldn't bring up uh, Chris Claremont's Willow. Like, it hurt him too much. But I gotta admit, you know, I, I'm excited. The, the 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 House of Dragons is doing a prequel, and they're all be like. I love the fact, well, at least two of the properties that they're based on the on the creations of uh, of actual books, right? Like you have George R. R. Martin's uh, Song of Ice and Fire, yeah. and you have uh, the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit, and then they're set in that world, but they're set in different times, so they're not written, they're not following a map of somebody, right? They're creating yes. their own thing, which is exactly. cool. I'm yeah, I mean, all, all they're all they're really following are some appendices that Tolkien wrote, and yeah, good luck with those. With and so, boy. yeah, you can really make it your own. So yeah, it's uh, I'll be really interested. I want Rings of Power to be really good because oh, dude, you haven't seen the Willow trailer? Yeah, it's live action. It's Warwick Davis. He's oh yeah, the he's his role as Willow. 
I don't know if his lady's back. I hope the actress is still alive. You also have uh, what's her name? Used to be married to Val Kilmer. She's playing the same role as. Yeah, um, she's coming back. So unfortunately, I don't think we'll see Val Kilmer in this as Mad Mardigan, but no, I, I I do hope we see something from this. They said Game of Thrones is going to be bigger. Well, if anybody has the money to do it and not cheap out, it's definitely HBO because those, man. I guess we'll see. And they've been yeah. and they've been keeping those budgets down with a lot of like just dramas as of late instead of big budget. Yeah, production. you know you notice that. So they've been focused more on like smaller dramas. I mean, granted, Succession again has been nominated for a zillion Emmys, so it's still fantastic. But it, they are they've tiered it down to gear up for what they are probably spending on House of Dragons, which is probably a lot because dragons are expensive. <laughs> CG dragons are expensive. They are. <laughs> no, they aren't. Um, that's why they had to cut uh, Ghost and those characters. So do we have any news on season two for Sweet Tooth? They, that did get picked up for season two, it, right? Isn't Robert did, Downey yeah. Jr. like one of the producers? He announced it, yeah. Robert Downey Jr. is one of the producers. I believe they announced a season two. But with any of these Netflix properties, it seems to take about two years for them to, from the time it ends, to, for a new one to come out. That's why they, the kids age seems so aged up in stranger things. And I know this past time it's because of the pandemic, but that prop that played a big factor into it. But yeah, there is that usually up a two year block, I think of Tom between it. So I'll tell you what, we're not going to see, we're not going to see any of uh, Ju- Jupiter's uh, rising to Jupiter's tears. Jupiter's, Jupiter's legacy. We will not be Jupiter's seeing legacy. Oh, that was a bad show. Well, ago, I heard that Stephen Young was back in the recording booth for Invincible 2, but don't know when it'll be ready for release. I'm sure, animation takes yeah. some time, right? They I love said, the first they were hoping for the latter half of 2022, but it looks like I bet the first half of 2023 we'll see Invincible season two. Marvel and DC going live at San Diego Comic Con. I can't wait. We can't either. We can't either. We're very I'm much, I'm I'm Pull Amanda from one of her busy nights at uh, this work thing to see if she'll join me for a live stream to get some reaction. Mm-hmm. If she gets back to her. Well, hotel. To be fair, the panel's on a Saturday. <laughs> so oh, yeah. Work. It's on a Saturday. I mean, unless unless you want to live stream uh, what's going on with the animation panel on Thursday, on Friday. We which, can wait. That's fine. Um, I love the animation. Don't get me wrong. I've I love any. I love seeing all that stuff, but it, yeah, for work purposes, it can wait. Unless you want me to do it but, in the car. I'm I done. mean, animation ain't got nothing on live action. You know oh, what I'm saying? Boy. I think you do. So look, I'm being fair, playing. Uh, um, I, so I, I hello can't there. Your, can't find your Captain America one. No, you can't. Um, hello there. Wants to know how you can watch it live. Um, unfortunately, you can't really watch the panels live. There's a reason they cost so much money to get into. Um, you'll you, a lot of times the press, um, those who have press passes, will film some of the um, some of the panels minus like any exclusive trailers or first looks. So they'll just show like the people on the stage talking about things but they won't show the trailers and they'll release those after the fact. So if you give it a day, you'll probably not even probably a day. You'll probably see those pull up on YouTube. Um, there's a, there's a channel I go to that usually has a, does a good job of recording all the different panels to see, but again, they're not going to, sh- they're not going to record the trailers or anything. You'd have to find that somewhere else or wait till they come out. Do you guys think they'll sprinkle mutants throughout the next few movies and shows? Try and make the MCU feel populated uh, by mutants before releasing. I, it. I mean, I think I think so. They've already well, spoilers. They may have already started doing it. Yeah. What I don't want is there to be a revelation to and like, oh my gosh, you've been a mutant all along, Black Widow sister. Well, oh, that's. <laughs> Let's hope uh, that's not the case. No, nah, what I need. Uh, okay. Anything else we want to talk about before we wrap up tonight, Panda? No. Um, that, I think that's all the stuff that I want to talk about tonight. I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to San Diego Comic Con. I hope that we're getting some great. After the last couple of, um, you know, minus Spy- Spider-Man No Way Home, after the last couple of film slash TV shows that Marvel's come out with, I am needing a boost of um, self-confidence again in the MCU. And so. 
Yeah, exactly. Like, did I make a did I make a poor decision putting this uh, this uh, tattoo on my my leg? Uh, oh my god! And, <laughs> so a Darcy okay. solo movie. Hey now. Hey now, that not could a, happen. Not, not a maybe some idea. Darcy shorts. Oh god, that probably would actually happen. Now that I say that, uh, that would appear on Disney Plus. Oh, I think you meant like a brand of shorts of no, Darcy. Like, like, like I, shorts. I, I'd rather like, see Nikita Lyons short lined up. Okay, I see what you're going for. You, gotcha. you see what I'm saying. Anyway, but that's bad. that's what I'm hoping to see some, you know, really just bonkers news come out of this from Marvel and DC. I hope they I really do hope they present us with some, you know, updates on some of the stuff that they're working on. Even if they want to save it for fandom, I'm hoping to get some updates. Okay. Well, um, everybody, we're excited. We'll see where we're going to be. We're, you know, it, it, we might try to sneak in some live video. Yeah. Uh, depending on how excited it is. I mean, we're talking like Avengers 5 kind of level of excitement with Robert Downey Jr. back. Holy crap. Then we would have to make a reaction video. Yeah. Because we're talking about like Justice League 2 release the Snyder Cut. Oh my gosh, yes. Or Morbius 2, then that definitely deserves a live stream, unpredicted. Agreed. That's it. That's what I'm saying. I promise. Perfect. Okay. All right. Well, with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And remember to follow us on all of our social media channels at, at Near Mint Con. Remember to check us out on Spreadshop for some great Near Mint Edition merchandise. And also check us out on Patreon for a dollar a month or more. You can support us in what we do and Get some really cool benefits in the process. And then last but not least, if it's classy and cool, it must be near mint. Good journey, everyone. And we will see you all soon. Uh, yes, what she said. Bye, everybody.